One was the fact that someone's in it for the glory. People, people are all like, I can't oh, in my comments. It's always like, it's always like, should I, what do you think about this coin? What do you think about that coin? And you know what I'm talking about. In, do you know the founder? Coins. Yeah. Do you know and, the founder? And I mean, not what, only do you know, do you know, the do you know their personal finances? Do you understand? Yeah. Like they're making this to make money for them. They don't yep. necessarily likely don't care about the 10,000 X. If they made a 10 X out of something they created out of thin air, plus all their sacrifice things, they're good. Like people I don't to, understand I have to, and appreciate I have to, uh, it. It's like I have to stop this ten thousand X thing. Ten thousand X is not normal. It's not normal. A thousand, a thousand X is not normal, guys. A hundred X was the big deal in crypto. How okay? many coins did a thousand X? How many coins? How many cryptos a did a thousand X? A handful, and only like five ever did a ten thousand X in all their it's history. Crazy. It's crazy. So you know to. To think that you're going to find the next coin that's going to give you a 10,000x, you're cracked. Good luck. Good luck with that. Tell me how that works out for you. When Richard said that X was going to do a 10,000x, they laughed at him. That was absolutely absurd and unheard of. Absurd and unheard of. The only thing to compare that to at the time was Bitcoin and Ethereum. He was basically saying, I'm the number three crypto right then and there that day. And everybody laughed him off. Yeah. Okay. That, that's how silly that statement actually was. However, the design indicated that it could do that, and that it was capable of it, and that he wanted it more than anybody else. And he's willing to do things that other founders are not willing to do, like not trash his own project for the sake of self-gain. He can trash his own project. Any founder, any founder can destroy their own project. Okay. Yep, 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 and you yep. know what? After they do and they're out, guess what happens? Sometimes these things come back up. You know, the Dogecoin guy, the designer of that, left. Now Elon's Dogecoin. Yeah, he got so that's like one in yeah. a million that Elon's gonna pick it up. But Charlie yeah. Lee left Litecoin, it never came back. I mean, and 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 what 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 are people looking for? They're looking for rich guy pump my bag. Like literally in crypto, they're like rich guy pump my bag. Well, guess what? I know a rich guy that wants to pump your bag. I know a guy that wants to do it for glory. I know a guy that wants nothing more than to win and rub it in everybody's faces for the rest of his life. Do you think Sailor really has any attachment to Bitcoin, really? He didn't make it. It's not his baby. It's not Sailor coin. Might as well be nowadays because you know he's synonymous with the word Bitcoin now because he's the current face that everybody talks to when it comes to Bitcoin. But you know what? He wasn't around when Richard was. He wasn't around 2011 uh, buying Bitcoin. He wasn't getting 50 free Bitcoin um, uh, for every block that was mine. He was nowhere near that. Okay. If you want to actually understand how Bitcoin works, he said, he said, it, was who actually, like, he said it was going to die like online gambling at 10 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And then they bought it $30,000. A thousand X on Richard's $30. A thousand X later, which means he could get a thousand X less coins than Richard could for the same amount of money. So I don't care how much money he has. He never had more Bitcoin than Richard. He never had more Bitcoin than Richard. I'm sorry. That's the fact that nobody wants to talk about. But you know what? None of them know how to do any chain analysis to actually understand that. And I'm not doxing Richard's wallet, so screw (laughs) y'all. But I can tell you this. Richard had more Bitcoin than Sailor. Sailor was not the big wig. They were dissing the big wig. You got to see that. Richard didn't just call the 65 top. He sold the 65 top. He made so there's it. There's actually made a video. It. Made it. <laughs> there's a video. There's a video with him talking to Ivan on tech, and people like to bring it up. Um, there's an old video where he is uh, old Richard in the uh, normal wardrobe and the crazy hair. Kind of looks like uh, the Mad Hatter. And uh, he's upset because he did not sell at the 20K top. He knew the top was coming. He called the top, and he didn't sell. And he was frustrated with himself because he could have took full advantage of that, knowing that that top was there. And he was frustrated with himself. And Ivan's like, well, why are you upset? He goes, because I have a hard time letting go of these things. That's his quote. Because I have a hard time letting go of these things. And he didn't let them go. Okay. He had to wait for the next top. All right. But 
that gives you a little insight to his personality is that he has a hard time letting go of things. Okay. He's not letting his baby go. There is no way in hell he lets his baby go. This is, this is bragging rights indefinitely for all times. He really wants to make the best performing asset ever known to mankind. That's what he wants to go down in the history books for. And I tried to get him to say it. You know, I, I had like six minutes on the interview with Maddie. I tried to get him to say it. I'd really like to have a conversation where we talk about legacy, uh, you know, and, and really kind of throw that down because I don't think people really understand where he's coming from. Yeah. This is about winning. And winning, when you've already got enough money, winning is no longer about money. It's about doing the things that you can't buy. And you can't, you can't buy this community. You can't buy this level of support that he's built, right? And how has he done that? Instead of extracting value, he's built everybody up, right? He's trying to bring everybody up all together. That's yeah. what a leader should do. He extracted a different kind of value, not a cash mm-hmm. value. Um, but yeah. He, the kind you can't buy. And you guess can't what? Buy that level of loyalty. Yeah. And, 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 and then there was $1.5 billion raised after doing mm-hmm. that. One point, people do not understand like where they are. It's like unbelievable. It's like, what about this coin? What about that coin? It's like, dude, like, you're in the right place. These, and, uh, these things happen so very rarely. It's okay. crazy. There was Bitcoin. There was Ethereum. Now there's tax. Yep. Everything else, I really don't care. Okay. These are the monumental changes. These are the game changers. Why are they the game changers? The innovation was not allowing the double spend to happen. That was Bitcoin. Ethereum allowed you to program money. And Hex is actually using that programming to program money. Trust as where other things, as other things are you know, just cut and paste of everybody else's thing. Yeah. Or some game to get you into so that they can get you tokens because they get in first, right? Mm-hmm. So it's always some kind of something. But these innovations, this is, this is the third innovation. This is actually the third innovation. It took them a while because they got comfortable with selling stick figures. 